Hey everybody, I'm Philip Goodman from the Nevada Real Estate Group at Keller Williams Group 1 Inc. in Reno, Nevada. And this is the 2019 Best in the West Nugget Rib Cook-Off Local Spotlight on Nick's Paleo and Ice Age Meals. I am here with Nick Massey, owner-operator of Ice Age Meals, the brick and mortar store yep. in Collin Ranch, but he's also got a huge footprint here at the Rib Cook-Off with Paleo Nicks. Yeah. Talk about how you go from pre-prepared fitness food meals to the Rib Cook-Off. Yeah, so I guess it really just comes down to a passion for cooking, but barbecue is, is one of my bigger passions. Uh, anytime I can combine meat and fire, it's, it's, a, it's a good thing. And boy, have you got the meat and the wood mastered here. You've got a couple of things here that nobody else at the Rib Cook-Off has, and that's these giant tomahawk ribeyes. Tell yeah. us about those. You know, we were just kind of thinking about something last year to maybe set us apart, and it was something that I didn't see. You don't really see a lot of beef in general, right? It's all about pork. Now, today, we're just doing, kind of starting these tomahawks, and then people can come by and we can finish them. So, kind of a showstopper, getting something on display to get the people interested in what we're doing. The, yeah, the visuals are stunning, and these are two to three pound prime cuts of ribeye. Yeah. The background was just teaching people how to cook uh, with, uh, in line with the paleo lifestyle. Um, it was pretty heavily tied to CrossFit. I found that in about 2008, and then I was a, I was a private chef at the time, um, I realized there wasn't a lot of food available that was in line with what uh, the CrossFit protocol was promoting, right, diet-wise. So, and, and at the same time, I was a private chef and all the people I was cooking for were saying the same things, right? Get rid of the sugar, get rid of any preservatives, additives, any chemicals, grains, all that stuff. Um, so then just kind of morphed my the food that I was preparing at the time to that style. We got a booth like this at the CrossFit Games. We had a bunch of extra food that we had just prepared on Sunday. The event was over and so we just portioned them up in these little trays, froze them, and, and I just posted on Instagram and that was the start of it. You're also quite the global traveler. Talk about the influence of other cultures into your cooking. Um, you know, I've always had an interest in traveling. Uh, when I was 16, I, I, my family didn't have much money, but I got a paper out and I saved up enough to go to France and visit a family friend. Uh, and I guess that really sparked it. Then fast forward, you know, 20 years and here I'm leading these groups of 30 people traveling. You know, we've been to Thailand, Alaska, Nicaragua a couple times, just taking people there, showing them the culture, doing fitness, you know, related activities, and then cooking, right? Cooking through it all, right? Using the local, uh, whatever is available at the local markets to teach these people how to cook and then also eat well while we're on the trips. So, that's, uh, and then how does it influence me? Just going to those places, I mean, you can't help but be influenced. Go to Thailand, to the, you know, the street food of Thailand is pretty incredible for the rib cook-off like um, trying to bring uh, trying to maybe freshen it up a little bit if you look in the UK they have a thing called Meatopia and it's a lot of like um, low and slow uh, smaller boutique type chefs who come to this gathering to do stuff that's a little bit more like this right instead of all the sauces full of sugars in big five gallon buckets that you're just squirting out like it's a little bit more um, of a gourmet experience and I'm, I'm hoping that we can, can bring that here. I don't, I don't see it in the U.S. and I think that this is probably one of the best chances to, um, to bring that here. You can find Nick's brick and mortar store in the Rayleigh Shopping Center on South McCarran and Collin Parkway. Check them out online at paleonick.com or call 775-499-5115. For the Nevada Real Estate Group at Keller Williams Group 1 Inc. in Reno, Nevada, I'm Philip Goodman. We'll see you around town.